nuclear physics is, is much more interesting on, on one side. So how much damage? How much damage do you get? This is this is where this is this is my uh, radiation numeracy lecture. To understand radiation, you need to understand radiation units, and they're a mess. They, these are the worst units in all of physics. Um, I mean, you, you want stat coulombs. I'll give you stat coulombs. This is terrible. Um, how much damage do you expect from a given amount of radiation? There are lots of different ways to measure that, and you will see all of them in the New York Times. I think I've seen all of these <laughs> in, in, the, in the news in the past couple of days. A becquerel is just, it's just a count. How many decays are happening per second? Uh, it's, it's like one hertz in, in radioactivity units. So one decay per second, that means you've got a becquerel. This thing I just put in my pocket is probably about a kilo becquerel. Kilo is 1,000, so it's 1,000 decays per second. Um, little, little lump of, of uh, very weak uranium ore. I'll take it out of my pocket, though. Um, <laughs> and that, that, that's a useful unit for some things. A curie is the same thing, just multiplied by 37 billion. Um, and you, you, will see, you will see both these units. Becquerel is very frequently expressed when you're, when you're looking at radioactive fallout. People say, oh, there's, there's a kilo becquerel per square meter of cesium on the ground. That's an amount. You could, if you wanted to, if you could take that number and the half-life and some other stuff, you could turn that into grams or moles or, 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 or kilograms or any, any of those sort of amount units that you're used to. Um, this, this is a quote from a recent Times article. There are 20, millions of curi 20 million curies of cesium-137 in the fuel pond. That's the kind of thing you'll see. That's not useful for thinking about hazards. Well, it's, it, there are a bunch of steps before you can think about hazards from, from curies. Thinking about hazards, you want to know, you know, you say, I don't care what, how much radiation it is. What I want to know is how many chemical bonds in my body were broken. Um, so we've got this unit called the gray, which is, uh, let's see, this, this is how I translated it this morning. This sounds confusing now. If you imagine having a billion U-238 decays per gram of your body, sounds like a lot, right? That's, that's a gray. So a gray sounds like a large number for starters. Uh, cesium is a, so that's, a, that's an alpha decay. This is a beta decay. It's one of those electron ones. Um, it's a weaker decay, so 10 billion cesium-137 decays would also be a gray. And that's per gram. So you can, you can get a gray in your hand, or you can get a gray in your thyroid, or you can get a gray in your whole body, depending on what the dose is. Uh, depending on what's going on. And that's a, it's really a pretty good count of just how many bonds were broken total. Uh, a, a complication is that some, some bond breaking is more effective at damaging, say, DNA. An alpha particle is a much better tool for smashing up DNA molecules than a beta particle. So we came up with this other unit, which is the same thing as a gray, except that you count alpha particles a uh, factor of 20 higher. Uh, so it, if you want to translate it into number of decays, it looks like this, again, per gram of body mass. And so, so think of this as how many bonds were broken in my body, what fraction of my body's bonds were broken, maybe? And think of this as what fraction of my body's DNA molecules were damaged, because they're, they're weighted differently. And so with that introduction, when we're talking about fission products, they're the same thing. So, so forget all of this. But you'll, you'll see both of them in a the time. So, I mean, translate one to the other. Um, Notice this is a this is a decays per second. This is just a total. This is a this is a integrated amount. I'll, I'll give you an example of. This is this is joules per kilogram in, in physics terms. The and so the, what you want to have is some intuition for which of these are bad, which are less bad. A curie. Is a curie a big number? A curie of tritium. I would I would happily put in a test tube in my pocket. Just it's not that much. A curie of strontium-90, I would not stand across the room from. A curies of different things can be scary or not scary. So this is not the most useful unit. Um, useful unit for figuring out what's scary and what's not are the gray and the seabirds. So let's go on to that. So you are all getting irradiated right now, and it's not the fault of my uranium. Um, if, you've, if you've eaten a banana recently, You've got, you know, I, you've got some potassium-40 in your body. It's just a natural component of all the potassium. Um, your dose from a normal body load of potassium is about uh, 0.2 millisieverts per year. Everybody remembers what a milli is. It's a one one-thousandth. So a thousandth of a sievert per year you're getting just from your own potassium, some of which is radioactive, gamma decay, uh, uh, beta gamma, rather. Um, the air around us has some radon-222 in it. That's an alpha decay. Sometimes that uh, radon that's drifting around the air will find itself in your lungs at the moment when it's decaying. That's about a millisievert per year for all of you. Um, 
Cosmic rays are raining down on us from the upper atmosphere, muons passing through your whole body, nice straight lines. Beautiful particles, but they're about a millisievert per year. Move to Denver, you can double that, higher altitude. Are you a flight attendant? You can multiply that by another, another factor of, of two or so. Um, you're, again, you're above the atmosphere all this time. You're getting extra radiation. So, I mean, if a friend of yours tells you that they're moving to Denver, you don't say, oh my god, you're, you're going to get an extra millisievert. So this is, I, and as well you shouldn't. So this, is the, so this is part of the radiation numeracy. A few millisieverts is not really worth worrying about. Uh, it's, it's just, it's not something that we've seen, that we have any evidence for, harm for, and it's something that we tolerate huge variations in, in, in daily life. This is a, a plot I got from a, a photo, photograph from a book. Um, these, these are natural backgrounds uh, in, in some horrible unit. Oh yeah, this is, so these, these are, don't worry about this, but this is, in, if you live in the UK, your, your total dose is about 1.5 millisieverts per year. If you live in Finland, it's about seven. So. If you're, if you're not terrified by that difference, you shouldn't be terrified by some other source of a millisievert. So what, let's look, to, look at something scarier, which is a sievert. Sievert's a thousand times that, the thing I told you you should ignore. Um, so with, when we get to sievert scales, we're talking about maybe worrying about risk of cancer, cancer from the radiation. Um, how is it cancer? Well, you get this ionization, which sometimes not every particle will do this, but once in a while, a, a radioactive particle will happen to hit some DNA and damage it. Sometimes when DNA is damaged, it, the cell can't repair it, and it does something, it's a useful part of the DNA, and so it changes the way the cell behaves. Sometimes when the, the behavior of the cell is changed, instead of the, just the cell dying, which is probably more common, sometimes the cell becomes cancer. So that's how you turn, you can turn billions and billions of ionization events, uh, very rarely leads to cancer. And the, the numbers I could find on that are, are, are this. This is, actually, this is a very interesting set. One sievert of dose given to 1,000 people, so 1,000 people, uh, 10,000 people getting a sievert each. Um, look at the, here's a list of cancers, and here's how many extra cancer diagnoses there would be per year in that 10,000 people. And I'm, I, the extra diagnoses per year. Now remember, there's already. Radiation or no radiation, there are lots of diagnoses of leukemia, breast cancer, thyroid cancer. These are the extra ones. Um, leukemia, three extra cases. Breast cancer, seven extra cases. Thyroid cancer, 1.5 extra cases. Stomach cancer, five extra cases. Um, now that's, that's uh, not insubstantial risk. Um, but nor is it you've just dropped dead. Um, I was trying to find uh, something to compare this to, and I, I'm not sure I have the numbers exactly right. There's not good data on this. But I think that's about the same risk as, as texting while driving. If, you're, if you habitually send you know, SMS messages while driving, you are accepting a risk comparable to a sievert of radiation. So let's think about, so compare this to a millisievert. A sievert is something that you would go, that you should go quite out of your way to avoid. But doesn't, it doesn't drop you dead on the spot. Nor does it just give you cancer on the spot. I should add, there's a, there's a big difference between a sievert, you know, all at once, like from a nuclear explosion, and a sievert given over a week or a month, a little bit at a time. Um, one of the, uh, yeah, a sievert all at once will, will give you radiation sickness right away, and, and your cancer risk will come later. And I should point out, the reason we know, this is a very unusual case, the reason we know this much about radiation doses at this scale is this is a common radiation dose for the population of Hiroshima survivors, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So that is a data source for understanding radiation illness. It doesn't happen very often to, to statistically large populations. Um, the other population that gets this scale of a dose is if you, if you have cancer in one part of your body, you're getting radiation therapy. The radiation therapy is really intense on the cancer, and they're trying to, you're trying to kill the cells of the cancer itself, and sometimes that bleeds out and uh, a, a really serious, uh, a solid course of radiotherapy may give you a sievert in the rest of your body. Um, so we have data from that also. Acute radiation sickness, the, the kind of radiation that will just kill you, is, is of order five sieverts, um, five or more. Extraordinarily rare, there's only, I mean, there's only handfuls of, of events where this has happened. Um, uh, other than, so Hiroshima and Nagasaki, obviously. Um, among Chernobyl first responders, a great many of them just faced absolutely inhuman risks uh, to put out the fires at Chernobyl. Um, 
30 dead, 200 hospitalized in that, in that group. Many, many with p people over, ten, over 10 sieverts per hour carrying around pieces of reactor core in their hands on a roof. No, no, no protection of equipment. The Guyana accident was a very, very interesting case. A, a big medical source, big uh, strontium-90 source, I think, got loose at a recycling plant, and uh, uh, townspeople somehow got a hold of this pretty blue metal and were playing with it. And that led to four deaths, five, 15 hospitalizations. Over five sieverts, uh, all cases were deaths. So this is, this is five sieverts is, is run for your life. So that's your, that's your uh, introduction to this. Uh, actually, it, it's an interesting case. The people, people with equivalent doses, five sieverts, they were all dead. The f three to four sieverts case, people who got it all at once died. People who had it spread over uh, a week in this case survived. Uh, makes a big difference. So here's here's some units in the news. Uh, New York Times. This was this is yesterday. I haven't been following. The, I haven't had time to follow the news today. This is probably all different. Last defense at troubled reactors. 50 Japanese workers. Radiation close to the reactors was reported to reach 400 millisieverts per hour. Um, millisieverts per hour is a very common uh, measure you'll see associated with a place. If I tell you there's a millisievert per hour over there, it means that if I go over there and stand there for an hour and then go away. I've got one millisievert. If I stood there for two hours, I've got two millisieverts. So you need to multiply by time. Um, so let's see. So we know 5,000 millisieverts. 5,000 times the milli gives five. So that's five sieverts will kill you. So 400 millisieverts per hour will kill you in 12 hours. This, this rate wasn't, well, reportedly was not that high for 12 hours. But you know, so there's, there's, a, there's something you can understand about, about that number. Uh, after a blast inside reactor number two and a fire at number four, but has since dropped back to as low as 0.6 millisieverts at the plant gate. 0.6 millisieverts per hour, let's compare that to texting while driving. Uh, if you stood at that gate for two months, you'd, you'd get a sievert at that, at that rate. So I mean, there are very different scales involved here. You know, death in half a day versus inconvenience and, and risk of cancer in, over a month. Uh, here, uh, World Nuclear News is reporting microsieverts, but there's 8,000 of them. So 8,000 microsieverts is 8 millisieverts per hour. Always per hour. It should always be per hour if you're talking about a place, but they get this wrong sometimes. So here's the New York Times plotting, uh, as a function of time, uh, this, uh, early this week, the radiation dose near the reactor at certain sites versus time. So Monday, there were little spikes of rate. Tuesday, there were little spikes of rate. Thursday, there were little, Tuesday, there were little spikes of, big spikes of rate. Um, uh, this, this axis is supposedly saying 12 millisieverts per hour. And then up here they say a measurement of 400 millisieverts was taken between two of the reactors. No, it wasn't. A measurement of 400 millisieverts per hour was taken between the reactors. They, people, this, is, this is a very common thing to get wrong, or maybe they're shorthanding it and not telling you. Um, elsewhere, and this is, so the, I mean, the, reason, the reason we go through this is so you have some intuition for what these numbers mean. Radiation at three locations in Tokai, which is, which is a ways away. Um, Here's a spike to 0.005 millisieverts per hour. So that is not a large number. That's a small number. People far from the site have not been irradiated yet. Not yet. Um, I, and they, they, they've been irradiated a little, so you can detect this. And this is, this is done in some kind of radiation detector. So it's not, it's not zero. And one of the questions people always ask about radiation safety is, well, you're, tell, you're showing me all this data about Hiroshima survivors getting one sievert. Um, is, is the risk for, is the number of cancers you get from one person at one sievert the same as you get from having 10 people at a tenth of a sievert and 100 people at a hundredth of a sievert? Um, I don't know, probably this is, this is a matter of some debate because there's just no data down here. There is no direct knowledge from, from epidemiology of a population that's all gotten 